Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. So today I am trying out a brand new brand and it's new to me and I'm sure you guys probably haven't heard of it before but I am very excited to share it with you guys. It is called Clove and Hollow and they reached out to me and asked if I would like to try some of their products and I said of course I love trying out new brands especially for you guys. It just is really cool to kind of step outside of the comfort zone of the brands that we know and try new products because there's so many amazing beauty brands that are launching and this one in particular is really really cool it is natural based products and i am very like intrigued by that and i like trying out more natural based products and i'm sure some of you guys are into that as well like toxic free beauty i'm gonna show you guys the look i created we're gonna test out the products together see what i think how they go on my skin. So if you guys have not subscribed yet to my channel, I hope you will. It's gonna be the first link down below in my description box. Hope you guys will subscribe and come back for more videos. Turn on that notification bell so you guys don't miss out on any of my future videos. Let's try out this new brand together. Okay, so I'm like so excited to dig into everything and see how it all applies. So the first thing I'm gonna try out is their powder pressed mineral foundation. I cannot remember the last time I used a mineral foundation or if I ever have used a powder as a foundation, I've only really used liquid. So I'm so curious about this. And then with that comes the refillable powder compact. So let me see if there's already one inside here. So in love with their packaging. It is so unique and just like black and white, very simple. I love their logo. It has like these little arrows that look like leaves. Um, hopefully you guys will be able to see that. And then the side has these like little striped pattern on it this is the powder compact i think it is so cool look at that pattern so this is magnetic so that is why i'm just gonna pop this guy out of here this is the shade 04 that i have and it says it's free from parabens petrochemicals animal byproducts mineral oil talc and synthetic fragrance so it says it has buildable coverage combined with restorative minerals in a convenient pressed powder foundation. But all stuff that is more natural, free from like harsh chemicals, which I love. And I love trying to kind of dive into stuff that's a little more natural. If I find something I love, I would love to like incorporate it into my daily makeup wear. To apply it, it says to buff into the skin using a dense kabuki brush for fuller coverage, or you can use it to set your makeup. So I actually think I want to try it as a foundation because I've never done that before. So. I'm gonna pop the little pan inside the compact, which goes right in. Love that. I am just so in love with this packaging right now. I think it is so freaking cool. I already put like serum on my face and I wanna try out this new Pixi Rose Flash Balm. This is like a primer, a mask, and a moisturizer in one. So I thought that was really interesting and I thought it would be perfect to put it on before I try this foundation for the first time and it has a rose scent to it but it's actually a really nice rose scent it's not offensive usually I get offended by rose scents and I just don't like them this one kind of has more of a juicier kind of rose scent to it but it does definitely have some of like weight to it but I like it because it feels like it's good for the winter time if you want a little bit of a deeper hydration. I'm just going to go ahead and use my Wet n Wild Kabuki brush. I really like this one. And here we go. I don't know what kind of coverage I'm going to get because I have no real like experience with powder foundations to be honest. So far it seems sheer. I'm digging my brush in there. Do you guys use a powder foundation? Would like to know your experiences and if you use it like on the daily. I'm just such a liquid foundation girl because I've always wanted more coverage and I associate a powder foundation with a much lighter coverage. It says it is buildable and I like that it doesn't have talc in it. There have been so many studies about how bad talc is for your skin, especially like that story about the woman who um, used like the Johnson and Johnson's baby powder and she got cancer from it. Like that one really freaked me out about talc. Um, you know, obviously I haven't completely removed it from my beauty routine, but just kind of alarming 
to hear the effects of it. So I like that more brands are coming out with powders that are talc free. And also like, is it really a necessary ingredient? Do we really need talc in our powders? Okay, so I definitely was doing like a hundred layers of this product, but I do like the coverage it gave to my skin. I feel like it, it accentuated my forehead lines, which is interesting because it's a powder. And I feel like it covered my acne pretty decently. So overall, I am pretty happy with this and I would totally use this as well as a finishing powder. So yeah, I definitely like this foundation. Um, I would say it's medium coverage for sure and you do have to do a bunch of layers on the skin. I feel like this would look awesome if you have really, really nice skin too. If you have skin that doesn't really have too many pores or acne, then you would probably really like this as well. So the Magnetic Compact retails for $8, which is really good. And then the Press Mineral Foundation that's on the inside here, that is $22, which is pretty much in line with um, like a high-end foundation, actually a bit below a high-end foundation. So it's more like middle range, I would say. Shade range looks pretty good. There's 14 shades. They give a nice chart that shows you like what skin tones match with which number. You should be able to find a shade um, there could be maybe a couple more in there, but hopefully they'll expand and get a few more powder shades in the deeper range. This is also PETA certified, cruelty-free, and vegan, and it is medium buildable full coverage with a satin finish. I thought this color was going to be too dark for me, but it actually ended up matching really well. And the shade that I got, I told you guys, is shade 4, and the undertones to that, it says light to medium skin with golden undertones. We're going to take now the concealer. This is the Cloven Hollow Conceal and Correct Concealer, and I got shade 02. So this retails for $18, so more on like the higher end of pricing, and I think usually more natural products, they do cost a bit more just because the ingredients are better for you. So this is what the concealer looks like. Such cute packaging. Again, it has their logo on the top. I love it. I'm curious how this is going to work with the powder foundation because usually powders and then you put a cream on top or like a liquid on top, doesn't really mesh too well. So I'm curious how that is gonna go. I'm just gonna do my usual. I'm gonna need to wet a beauty blender or a sponge. Hopefully this meshes well with the powder. Has like a medium consistency to it. It's not too thin and it's not too thick. So it says it's buildable yet lightweight liquid concealer. A rarity in green beauty offers medium to full coverage without flaking, breaking, or caking. It's PETA certified, certified, cruelty free, and vegan. And this has, let's see, coconut oil in it, which is really cool. Argan oil. Blend this out. Okay, so it's blending out pretty nicely. I think it is a little bit more difficult over powder. I don't know if these two are like meant to go together, um, but it is still blending out even though I have that powder on top. I would say it's definitely more of a medium concealer and I kind of just look down a little bit. It does settle into those fine lines, so you do have to kind of like pat it out a bit with your finger. I'm not going to use the powder foundation to set underneath my eyes because I like to use something a little bit lighter, um, so I'm just going to go in with my Cover FX what is this called? Matte setting powder to just set underneath the eyes. I'm also curious to see how this works with other like liquid foundations that I have. So I'm going to keep on testing this with my other foundations and see what products it pairs well with because I do really like the consistency of it. Okay, so I'm back. I just wanted to fill in my brows because I don't know, I feel like it looks a little bit weird until I have my brows done. So I just put a little bit of like argan oil on my lips beforehand because they were so dry. You guys know the story with my lips if you watch my channel. I have very chapped lips. So I always like to moisturize before I put any sort of lip product on, even if it's a moisturizing lipstick or claims to be. So this is the shade. It's a nude pink, of course. They had like more bold shades, but you guys know I have to be basic. So I'm going to... Ooh, it is very nude. Holy moly. I actually might need a lip liner with this because it is super duper like conceal concealer lips nude. Just put on some of this Maybelline and Gigi Hadid lip liner. Just so I don't have concealer lips. 
has like a very light scent to it. I actually like it with the lip liner. Without it, I think it might be a little bit too nude. I do really, really love a very nude lip, but this is almost a little tiny bit too light, even for me. Then over that, let's see if I could put on this lip velvet. A pretty package item. This has a black top. It's just really sleek, has like a square look to it. This is more like a brownish nude shade. Lip velvet is $18 in seven shades, it looks like. Dude, this looks like layered over. Oh, it's brown. Okay. Wow. Oh, all right. So that completely covered up the lipstick. It's more of a brownish nude. Also, they sent over a candle. Um, it's right back there. It's called Heavily Meditated. It's more of like a lavender scent, which is definitely different for me. Um, I think I'm going to keep it in my bath, but I wanted to have it burning because, you know, I was filming um, this line today. So I was like, might as well have the candle burning back there. If you guys are curious about the candle, it retails for $21. It's plant-based, phthalate-free, and it is American non-GMO soy wax and cotton wick. So it's definitely more of a like green cleaner type of candle. Like it doesn't have any harmful ingredients in it because candles can be harmful for your health, believe it or not. I didn't know about that until recently lips definitely different from what i had before um so this is the shade not as dark as it appears in the bottle but maybe because i put it over that nude shade um so those are all pretty much the products that i have i also have like a makeup melting cleanse off product from them that's in my bathroom right now i'm still testing it i tried it for the first time last night and i liked it a lot it has like coconut oil in it um so I'm going to test that for the rest of the week and see like how I feel about that product so far. Finish up my eyes because I don't have any eye products from this brand. And then I will come back and kind of just wrap everything up with you guys. So I'm happy to report that I actually layered a cream product over it. So I use the e.l.f. foundation palette, the darker shades in here. This is medium dark. So I use this as my contour today and it layered so well over the powder foundation from Cloven Hollow. And I was so surprised at that. I didn't think it was going to layer over a powder because like I said I am such a noob with like powder as foundation but I must say I really like the way that my skin looks I feel like it looks honestly just as good as when I wear liquid foundation I am super happy with the coverage and I'm just really surprised and I actually really enjoy the way that this looks very great quality love the whole green clean ingredients going on with this brand I think the packaging is absolutely stunning albeit I already got it kind of dirty I'm trying to wipe it off now but it's so sleek and pretty looking and just clean and I love that because it goes along with the whole clean ingredients thing so I really actually love the lip color um concealer I think looks really good as well definitely gonna keep trying it out with other foundations like I told you guys before but so far I really like everything so this is definitely a brand that I I'm really into. I would love to try even more products from them. I'm just happy that I can feel good about what I have on my skin right now and that it's not, you know, clogging up my pores or doing bad things, you know, absorbing into my, you know, skin or anything like that. Liquid lipstick to dry down pretty quickly. It isn't super hydrating. Um, it's not the most drying liquid lipstick I've ever tried. It does definitely feel a little bit dry on my lips. Um, but not as bad as some other ones I've tried in the past. Thank you so much, uh, Cloven Hollow, for letting me try out your products. And I hope you guys will try them out too. I'm going to link everything I use down below in the description box in case you guys want to check it out. Maybe you're vegan or cruelty-free and you're looking for a new brand. That is it. I hope you guys enjoyed my review and try-on session with these products. And thank you guys, as always, for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys have not yet. It's going to be down below. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!